Hi, I'm Dr. Brandon Macy of the Clark Podiatry Center, and this is a Foot Health Minute. Today's topic, minimalist running shoes. Firefighter Will G. of Seattle, Washington, wrote in asking for my opinion regarding minimalist running shoes. Are they good for you or just a passing fad? As with many things, the truth lies somewhere in between. One size does not fit all. There are plenty of runners who swear by minimalist running shoes, along with many who have tried them only to suffer yet another injury. Scientific studies also show conflicting results as to what is best and have unreliable research methodology. People who come from cultures with a great deal of barefoot running have been doing it and adapting to it for their entire lives, and still they don't run barefoot on the hardest surfaces. Back in the 60s, Ethiopian Abibi Bakila won the Olympic marathon running barefoot. He then won the gold medal in the next Olympics in record time, this time wearing running shoes. Runners who naturally land with a midfoot or forefoot strike have an easier time of adapting to minimalist shoes. Heel strikers are more likely to have problems unless they can learn to run with the different style, something that is very difficult to do and must be done gradually. This isn't the first time that minimalist shoes have been popular. Runners got injured then, they moved towards more cushioned shoes, and runners still got injured. Fact is that in general, runners will always sustain injuries as they increase their intensity and mileage. It is often a matter of time and treatment more than a shoe change that will heal injury. For more information or an appointment, call us at 732-382-3470 or visit our website at www.clarkpodiatry.com. This is Dr. Brandon Macy, and I want to keep you walking and running.